everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make some amazing arts and crafts. They are toilet paper tube birds. Can you believe it? These are made from toilet paper tubes. So obviously you're going to need a toilet paper cardboard tube. You're also going to need some card, some glue and a pen, paintbrushes and paint. And that's it. So let's get started. First up, I'm taking my cardboard tube and I'm squishing it at the top. We're creating the ears of our little birds and it's super easy. Once you've folded it down, put a bit of glue on and then stick it so that it's secure. If you want to leave it to dry, you can always use some bulldog clips to hold it in place. Now I'm taking some orange card. I'm going to draw the different shapes I need. I've got a beak and two feet. Using my scissors, I'm going to cut these out. These birds are super easy to make. And they're super fun. You've probably got all of these items lying around the house already. Now the final thing I need to make are some wings. I'm using pink card to draw these. Once you've finished drawing them, cut them both out. We also need some giant owl eyes. You can make your eyes look whichever way you want. Cut them out once you're happy. Now it's time to paint the body of our owl. I'm going to use bright pink because it's super cute. But first up, I'm going to use a light pink to paint the tummy. Once you're happy with the tummy, we can paint the rest of the bird. You can take the bulldog clips off now because the ears are dry. I love this bright pink. It's super cool. Keep painting. We want to cover the whole bird. Wow, it's looking great. Well done, everyone. Nearly there. Don't forget the back. Now let's set that aside to dry. Once it's dry, all we need to do now is stick on our bits of card. We've got the eyes. And we've got the beak.
We've also got the super cute feet. And finally, of course, the wings. Our bird is looking amazing. Can you believe it's made from a toilet paper roll? I almost can't. Wait for the glue to dry and that's it. A super cute little toilet paper bird. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a dream catcher. Doesn't this look incredible? For this, you're going to need a ring, some leather cord, colored string, some super glue, some charms, and some feathers. Let's start with our metal ring. I'm taking a tiny bit of super glue and putting a drop on the ring. I'm now going to take the leather cord and wrap it around. I'm fixing the end right where the glue is so that it doesn't shift around. This is going to take a while, so be patient. You can even do this in front of the TV. Just keep going and this is what it'll start to look like. Doesn't it look great? You want to wrap it all the way around. And when you get to the end, tie it in a knot. Perfect. That looks great. Now I'm taking some of my colored string. I'm tying it around the top of the hoop and I am going to make loops all the way around. This is what it'll look like. This is what makes the traditional dream catcher. Perfect. Now, it doesn't look so great at the moment, but we haven't finished yet. I'm taking the same colored string and I'm tying it around the middle. See how it pulls the loop tight? Just like so, it's gonna create a really great sun shape. See? Tie it off and this is what it'll look like. We're now gonna do a similar thing with a different colored piece of string. Tie it at the top, just like we did with the pink, and we're gonna repeat the looping process. We loop and then we tie a knot. Finish by tying it off. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing. You can see that this sun shape is sitting in the space of the first sun shape. Finish by tying it in a knot and look, now we've got two suns. Cut off any excess string. Now we want to make the part of the dream catcher that hangs down. I am taking some length of string in both colors. I'm tying a knot at one end and securing it with a bit of tape. I've secured it to the table, but this is just so that I can plait it easily. About halfway down the plait, I'm gonna add my first charm. Then I'm going to add my second one. And finally at the bottom, I'm gonna tie off with a knot. I'm repeating this process with different charms. Let's go back to the dream catcher. Attach your bits of string at the bottom. We want to tie them in knots and they're going to dangle down. Super cute. It's already looking so great. I'm so excited by this one. You can add some more charms to the main bits of string if you like. This is a nice bit of added decoration. Now we need to make the loop so that we can hang it up in our window and catch all the bad dreams. I've got a length of brown leather for this. This is gonna match exactly the same as the one we tied around the original metal ring. I'm tying it in a knot, so I've got a loop, and then I'm looping that around so that I have got a cord hanging. To cover the joint, I'm going to use the super glue to attach two feathers and then another charm. I'm going to repeat this exact same process, except I'm not going to tie the leather at all. I'm just going to loop it around the bottom of the dream catcher. 
I'm then going to glue some feathers on it, and voila, that's it. Isn't that cool? It looks amazing, just like a traditional dream catcher. You can hang this in your window and it's meant to catch all the bad dreams. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a liquid notebook. Can you believe it? This is a notebook and it's got liquid in it. Look at the bubbles, aren't they amazing? It looks so great and you can do it yourself. So you're going to need a notebook, a ruler, a pen and a scalpel, a jug of water, some laminating sheets, some tracing paper, some super glue and water dye. You're also going to need an iron and a syringe and some baby oil and finally some glitter. So let's get started. For this, we are going to measure two centimeters in on our notebook. We want to create a perfect rectangle on the front cover. I'm using my ruler to make sure that it is exactly right. Measure from the outside edge and you'll get perfect lines. It's great using a plastic notebook because that means the pen will rub off afterwards very easily. I'm now taking my craft knife and I'm cutting out the central shape. This is where our plastic is going to be and this is where we're going to see our liquid goodness. Nearly there. Great. Okay, now we're going to take our two sheets of laminate, or a laminate pocket. We want to draw a rectangle exactly the same size as the one we've just cut out of the front of our notebook. I'm using my ruler to make sure that it's exactly the right size. We're now going to take a length of the tracing paper. This is going to help us iron the right bits together. Fold it in half. This is going to create a sleeve. We can then put our laminate paper inside this section. Use a ruler to hold it in place. We don't want our fingers to get too close to the iron because we're now going to iron around the edge of the laminate. This means that we're going to create a pocket. We're only going to be melting the bit on the outside of the pen or the outside of the rectangle. We want to leave a tiny section at the top though where we don't want to iron it, just like this. Set that aside, and we're now going to create our liquid. This is simple. I'm adding some food dye to some water. And I'm also adding some glitter. Give it a good stir. Once that's done, we want to use a syringe to suck up the water. We're now going to syringe the water into the pocket we've just created. Syringe the water into the pocket. It's looking great already. I'm also adding some baby oil in there as well.
This is going to be so much fun to play with. Once you're happy with how much baby oil and liquid is in there, we're going to iron the rest of it shut. And look, we have a perfect pocket of liquid. This is going to sit so well in our notebook. It's even more fun to play with because we've added the baby oil. Now all we need to do is use some glue to stick it into the notebook. Too easy! Perfect! And there you have it! A liquid notebook! Isn't that fun? And it looks incredible! You can use whatever different colour notebook or liquid that you want. Good work everyone! Thanks for watching!